2014, 2019 Chevy Silverado drive belt and belt tensioner replacement. It is a same procedure on um, the GMC Yukon, Chevy Tahoe, Suburban, and GMC Sierra. Same procedure, whether it's the 5.3 or the 6.2. So let's start by removing the PCV holes back there. You push that tab down and you pull it out. Same thing on that side. Um, let's remove, let's loose um, the air anti tube with the 8mm over here and the 8mm over there. Let's, let's loosen them up. They're both loose. Let's pull it out like this. There you go. Here with the drive belt. Um, pay attention to the orientation. It go from the crank, go up to the tensioner pulley, the alternator, and you go all the way to the water pump. Pay attention to the orientation, guys. I'll take a picture of it if anything. So let's take the belt off. We need a half inch ratchet like this. You put it on the tensioner. You take, take the pressure off like this. And that's it, take the belt off. Yep. The belt is off. I'm replacing the belt, the tensioner. It looks like we've seen better days. The car have 125,000 miles on it. We have the belt off. Now, let's remove the tensioner. It is here by 15 millimeter like this. All right. You got the tensioner pulley. I'm inspecting it. It was a little noisy. I can hear it. Looks like the bearing is on its way out. You pay attention to that notch right here, by the way, when you put the new one in. Here is the part number for the new one. the new tensioner let's put it on yeah, I'm putting the tensioner on you pay attention to that notch there is a um a die open we see die open pretty much not a notch a die open you put it in like this and make sure you line up and you put it on new tensioner is in now let's put the belt here is the part number for the belt Let's put the belt on. You go around the crank pulley first. Around, around the tensioner. And around the water pump. And now we're going to relieve the pressure of the belt so you can go around the alternator. Just like that. Make sure it's fully seated around the pulleys. Right? Everything is good. And you put your airbox um your airbox back on. But since I have other work to do to this car, I'm gonna leave it off for now. Thanks for watching guys. See you on the next one.